On the road to the Final Four, we join you today from Ames, Iowa. Students have been camped out the last few days just to ensure they get a good seat for this matchup. Kansas and Iowa State. Look at the Big 12 standings right now. Texas Tech, the top team at 4-1, and one, and the Jayhawks and the Cyclones check in at 4-2. and two. Welcome to Hilton Coliseum, everybody. I and Eagle along with national championship head coach Jay Wright. Bill Rafter, he's a national champion. It's something we just don't know what yet. Guys, we're expecting a raucous atmosphere. The Big 12 is a lot of fun right now. These are two high-quality teams. You got it, Ian. And it's a pleasure for me to be a part of this illustrious team again. But guys, we're in for some magic today, right? Kansas is bringing their own, but the Cyclones have Hilton magic. Best wise, we're bringing them down to our level, Bird. <laughs> oh my goodness, the heaven dancers died. But he's been moaning the last two days about these defensive teams. That's what he was all about. <laughs> Maybe we'll get some offense too today. Certainly have one in Bird, and Damon Lipsy's a guy who understands how to win. Terrific choreographer. He's got to finish at the rim in some traffic against the bigs, but his ball handling and finding people. His steals and his presence are magnificent. And winning here is a serious challenge for any team. Kansas found that out the hard way last season when they lost here at Hill. Showdown in the Big 12 today in Ames, Iowa. We've got it for you here on CBS. It's a packed house here at Hill. Capacity is 14,267. They opened this arena in 1971. The anticipation for this matchup is always big, but it just feels a little bigger this year considering the team that Iowa State has to go against. The seventh-ranked Kansas Jayhawks. Starting lineups, Furphy has certainly changed things for Bill Self's team. He gives them perimeter presence, and he has been a difference maker in the starting lineup. The freshman from Australia. Meanwhile, for the Cyclones, Lipsy came back from a shoulder injury, and in Iowa State got the win over Kansas State on Wednesday night, 78-67. to Gilbert, high-scoring guard, and Monachilovich, an impact freshman. Bill Self, Jay, Rapp, his concerns, Iowa State's defense. It's real, it's legit. It is, and the more, I've coached against him for a number of years, but the more I study him, get ready for these games, he has a way of picking apart great defenses better than any coach I've seen. And they pass the ball great, and they cut great, and they are unselfish, Bert. And T.J. Otzelberger, this crew does play great defense. They are excellent offensively, though. Let's not lose sight of the fact that they have scored the ball consistently, and they're gaining confidence as the year goes on. I have fear of certain people. <laughs> I, spoke to DJ. I got in the defensive stance. <laughs> he wanted you to come and work out with him this morning. You and Jay chose not to. You went for the breakfast buffet. Late night with Rap doesn't lend to early morning workouts. Ray Natilli, Rick Crawford, Chris Casey, our officiating crew here at Ames. The Big 12 has been wild. It is so deep. Seven teams in the top 25. Two of them here today. Number seven, Kansas. Number 23, Iowa State. We're underway from Hilton. Kansas controls the tech. I need to see right now. Iowa State goes a little. <laughs> and this is serious, man to man. Right, right away. With the, with the trap right away, Bird. Double team. Dickinson fights through it. And it's going to go the other way on a tie up. Cyclones take over. That's just a little taste of what Dickinson's going to see all day. Exactly, Bird. That's that's what this game is going to be about. Iowa State tough physical traps. Kansas playing out of those traps and trying to get it to the other side of the floor. And Robert Jones really a tough competitor on the defensive end. Has a little jump hook in his game as well. Be the post. King trying to challenge Dickinson, and that's a turnover for Iowa State. That'll make quick moves against Dickinson, and I think you've got to move away from the box, make him work on the defensive end. As we talked uh, last, uh, last year, at this game, Iowa State went inside with success against Kansas, and they started the game the same way. Yeah, they knocked them off here at home. Kansas has been so good for so long under Bill Self. There you go, the cut and the ability, and what a great look. Flip doesn't go for McCuller who's averaging 20 points per game. Adams with a great look. 
Here's Gilbert, transfer from UNLV to the Momchilovic off the mark for center. Shot that from Milwaukee. <laughs> he does have range. That ball gets deflected and a turnover. Gilbert gets a piece of it, drives it in. On Dickinson, no, the follow goes. It's Trey King, the second, trailing the play. They don't never, normally run, but off turnovers, loose ball, deflections, they get out and fill. And we were at their practices. Their ability to start games, they're like Mike Tyson. They come out, they want to make the first punch, they want to knock you out early. They got up big on Houston, 14 nothing against Houston here. The question, is it Mike Tyson, Michael Spinks, or is it Mike Tyson, Buster Douglas? <laughs> Jumper doesn't go from a color, gets another shot, and can't hit the three. Rebounded by Gilbert. He is shooting that baby better, but they're going to give him that. Interesting rap off the turnovers. They're gonna get out and run, but otherwise they're gonna grind you down here in the half court They really move the ball and move people He's a deep in the shot clock bird and comfortable And they keep going inside down low Jones dropping bodies with four feet on a kick Lipsy makes his move nice step back the jumper too strong and this is Jones shot Battle to Pete Momchilovic outside King Ray King, oh, really. <laughs> Raph, that's the question we had. Do they want Trey King shoot threes or not? That's his fourth of the year. Four out of 17. He hit a huge one at the end of the Houston game, though. Kansas 0 of 3 from the field. Two turnovers. Dickinson keeps it high, and he nails it. It's got range, too. Bites it with the three. They're going to give him a couple, according to the coach, early. If he yep. makes them, they're going to have to go play him. He and K.J. Adams are going to have to make plays almost like guards today. And a steal, the color steps in and streaks in for the bucket. Well, that was not good offense either for Iowa State. Nice jump in the passing lane, McCullough, having a great year. Kansas staying tight here early is really important because we heard them talk at practice about how important getting off to a big start and trying to hit, make the first punch is. Kansas hanging tough on the road. Automatic switch and a good matchup, too. Nevertheless, a sweeping move by Keyshawn Gilbert on the running one-hander. Keyshawn Gilbert can score. He's coming off two great games. TCU and K Nice cut play. again here, right? They do a great job. Furphy that time. Nice find Adams. Good passing. Furphy taking the baseline and the bullet feed leads to the bucket. Their movement, we talked about that. Kansas cuts really well and they pass really well. And that's what can go against the team like Iowa State that creates turnovers. Gilbert one-on-one -on -one with Furphy. A little nickel dimer here. And they're going to get it on the Aussie. Are you telling not find the Australians, I guess? And you know, when you go on the road in college basketball, you know it's going to be a little tough. You're not going to get many calls. Kansas is prepared for it. They've been as good as anybody on the road in the Big, in the big 12. Yeah, that, guy's, that team's ready for many years. So some changes here for Iowa State. Curtis Jones is in. And Jones... Nearly lost the ball. The ball was tipped, so he was allowed to go back and get it. There is a great defender. Long arms, really reads things beautifully. Hassan Ward in as well. Fifth-year senior. Kick it out. Jones overcooked it. He can make those, though. That's what he's in the game for. He's coming off. Of, he also is coming off two big games. He's not political, but that's his ward. <laughs> King of three. In and out. Rebound knocked to the outside of McCuller. Perfect in the early. Watch it. Ooh, I thought he might tee it up. I did too. He's good at that. Harris directing traffic. Adams high, low action. They oh, double team Dickinson. They come from the baseline, so you're going to get that quick kick. Can't leave him alone. First in. Bucket. A three. Can't leave him alone. Great. That's, look. That's going to be the game. How they get out of those double teams. And that, when that pass goes to the opposite side, like Furphy just got it to, they make those shots there, make those plays. That's huge, Furphy hitting that. And a 9 7 lead for Kansas. And no whistles. We've just been going up yeah. and down. Jones feeds it inside. And the finish by King. These are two outstanding teams. We are seeing efficient offense against great defense. And two well-coached teams, too. McCuller makes his move. Hard drive with confidence. An assertive play plus the foul. He loves going right, Jay. Got to take it away. How about this? This is the defense that, Ohio State, that Iowa State loves to start the game with.
They're going to set the tone. 11-9, Kansas in front of Iowa State. Time, all the time. At home, Iowa State undefeated, 12-0. The average margin of victory, that, that looks like <laughs> that's not a real number. It is. It is. Plus 31.8 turnover differential. They just force you into mistakes. They're as good as anybody in the country in that category. And I am, they really take pride in getting off to great starts and going up 11-0, 14-0 like they did against Houston. And this is what we were talking about, that Kansas passes the ball. It's the best team in the country with assist, and that's what diffuses that great defense, right, Matt? Well, the big thing now we talked about air the double baseline now I would continue the baseline double because Furphy's out Jackson's a driver so when they kick unless Harris steps up and we know he can make shot you yeah. know better than anybody yeah. punch him against you right <laughs> Harris hit three threes against us in the national semifinal McCullough number one of the big 12 in scoring is getting to the free throw line more than anybody else in the country. The floater comes up short from Ward. Well, he is a physical, he whacked Adams, too. <laughs> that's the Big 12, that's, yeah, that's a play well, on in the Big 12. Kansas has won eight of the last nine meetings against the Cyclones. Some color, high off the window, it doesn't go, and a foul the other way. Yeah. Over the top, Ward. How about going to Iowa State practice and, and, and watching their box out? Their commitment to rebounding right here. Look at that. Contest. And do you see it? Rotate down the Samoa to rebound and, and box out. It's impressive. So Adams picks up the foul with the contact. Ward had the position for Iowa State. I was on the sideline doing the box out drill, and I got hurt. <laughs> <laughs> you can back it into me, get out of the play. There's a little scissor and a ball screen empty side. Automatic switch at all spots, four spots, I should say. Not Dickinson. El Marco Jackson is in the game for Kansas. Lipsy is back in. Steps through. That's creative, but couldn't finish it. And it's rebounded by Dickinson. Interesting switch on the ball screen there by by Adams instead of this is his game right what a nice move couldn't squeeze it Adams couldn't catch it cleanly McCullough saves they have plenty of time on the shot clock Harris trying to organize it mismatch with mom Chilovich dump it Dickinson a quick release no strong rebound there from Damarian Watson that's what they want keep you late in the shot clock too exactly you know what? It's interesting. There's two ways to attack this kind of defense. Either drive the ball baseline, invite the double team, and skip it. That's how Furphy got a three. Or keep the ball in the middle of the floor and get quick slips on the ball screens. Like they just did. 100 tickets have got a pretty good shot there. There's another way of beating this defense, just like you. You didn't schedule them. <laughs> yeah. And definitely don't do it in Hill here. Coliseum. How many times have you been here, Jay? <laughs> Never. It's the best one of the best coaching decisions I ever made. Jones back in. Really, really He's manning the middle right now for Iowa State. Look at this mismatch right here. Lipsy is in all Dickinson. spots. Look at the hands there. Oh, they got Jackson with a foul before. They do. A little reach in there. El Marco Jackson. This was actually fortunate that they got that on Jackson. You can't afford Hunter Dickens to get in foul trouble there on a mismatch on Lipsy. Loaded in. Lipsy. Right back for Jones, he missed it off the rim. That was a great base on out of bounds. And, and we said earlier, too, about he's got to make shots at the rim. Uh, Nicholas Timberlake is in. Kick it out for Jackson, the McDonald's All-American. Let's see Harris get a nice pass, too. No finish. Great position there for Dickinson. He didn't get it to go. Running the floor. Nice play. And a knockaway as Kansas gets back defensively with Timberlake. And the big thing yesterday, Jay, as you recall, was running Dickinson. Make him go rim to rim. Try and fatigue him. And to your point, Raph, he was beaten, but the Timberlake saved him with a great defensive play from the weak side. I like this kid. Jones from Buffalo. Thames. Now it's Hilbert loses the ball, taken away by Harris. Three turnovers now for the Cyclones. They got to get Timberlake to make shots too. That's key with Furphy out. Kansas shooting it at 39 percent here in the early going. Iowa State 33 percent. Bodies are flying. Oh, they stayed here with it. Wow. Lipsy took the hit. Whew. Thought it was the other way. Headed to I thought he JT as well. I thought he had him squared. I thought he had him squared up. 
Extended arm. Usually when you extend an arm like that, they're going to give it to the down. defense. I'm looking at JT's body. Did I ever look like that? <laughs> uh, yeah, right. No. Wait, wait. He looked at the film and the answer. <laughs> he could play like that, though. He was National Player of the Year. He was. Timberlake feed it. Shot up down to 12. Here's Harris. Love this kid. Oh, that's so good. Pace, control, able to finish at the rim. When they need it, he sticks those deep ones. He does have that great timing of knowing when Kansas needs him to make a play and when not to. And now a 10-2-1 here for Kansas to take a 14-9 lead. And I think this is going to get a little blow with Brown coming in for him. Tough shot. A fade. Doesn't go for King. Rebounded by Dickinson. Checks in on the move. I love the pace. And a lot of time left on the clock. He, he can hit that. He loves it. Doesn't go for Dickinson. It's short. Gilbert pushing the pace, weaves through traffic. Ooh. Got caught in the air. King is there. Ball knocked away. Another turnover. Quick outlet. Give it up. Timberlake on the move. The banker, no. The follow block. The color had it rejected. Oh. Got to pass the ball. Lipsy contact blocking foul. Kansas. Ooh. And it's Jackson down on the floor. When you play Iowa State, you don't get many fast breaks. You got to pass the ball and give it up. Ralph, how about this? Coming back on defense. Hassan Ward out of nowhere. Rob Johnson with a great block. The position is not really a back to the basket guy, but another all take time Zach, talent. And then we all take Zach Eady for granted, right? Yeah. We, we know it. We just talk about the other guy. He's so. Just mail him the trophy. <laughs> <laughs> Iowa State already with four turnovers for nine minutes into this first half. Another three. King nails it. Great King, two for three from three. What a great stand report you had. <laughs> At least I answered, do they really want him to take threes? Not really. But man, that makes a big difference. He has scored 10 of Iowa State's 12 points and an illegal screen out front, Adams. So that is number two on K.J. Adams, Jr. Well, that hurts them immensely. The short roll they love on the ball screen at the top of the key. This is dynamism around the rim, too. So now Dickinson will come back in. Adams forced to sit. The Kansas lead is two. It's been a whole lot of Trey King. And they're using Parker Brown as a substitute, so I think they feel confident offensively. They got to get stopped, keep getting stopped defensively. He knows how to play. I mean, he's a good rebounder, cuts well, he makes some shots for them. Brown played at Missouri and Santa Clara. Spin, King, in and out. It was halfway down. Cleared by Dickinson. That ball was deflected. deflected. A little bit of a glance as it went by out of bounds. Dickinson thinks he's Wes Unsel now with those <laughs> outlet passes, huh? Uh, maybe Kevin Love would be <laughs> a little more Another current. option. Did he get a piece? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, it's a change of Trey King. Lately. Trey King coming back. A little piece of his left hand. Good eyes on him. I think he saw the video. Everybody was ready to find us. Only regular season meeting between these two teams. The color time or Furphy. You get a double team come on the baseline every time. They like that ISO from a color. Give him a screen and let him roll. Dickinson. Find the open man. McCuller doesn't go. He's got it by Brown. Knows how to play. Furfeet turns the corner. They got a foul there. He's so, fouled by Robert Jones. A little grab. He can't keep up with him. He is winded, too. Iron Rap, when they have that short roll. And they kick it opposite quickly and take that quick three. Even if they don't make the three, they get Iowa State scramble, and that's why they get the offensive rebound. And they get the weak side rebound, right? Exactly. That point. And that's what Dickinson does a great job of. Quick decision, get rid of it, and then Furphy, quick shot, quick play on the weak side. Rebounding numbers so far, 11-11. Dickinson is the leader in the Big 12 in rebounding at 11 per game. But a little bit of a zone look here on the end of bounds. Everybody's afraid of Bill's out-of-bounds plays. Oh, a slip pass. High Archer doesn't go. McCuller. Harris set him up nicely. He really did. They're doing a great job of inviting those double teams and kicking opposite, getting good shots. They're not turning the ball over. That's why Iowa State's having trouble scoring. Nice play. Fendi. No, Gilbert's been quiet. Back on the floor. They need him to explode a little bit. Really a talented kid. Spent some time at Vegas. Actually was recruited by TJ. Yes. And then didn't get the coaching though at oh. UNLV. Guys, when we would play against a team 
like Iowa State, we would feel like our offense was our best defense. Just don't turn the ball over because that creates their best offense. And this is that step back. He, boy, they were right under it. They got Brown for, and they got to walk. Momchilovich, the travel. So think, that's turnover number five for the Cyclones. I think Brown's big feet worked in his favor. <laughs> I think he stepped on his toe. I think Brown's well, experience. Let's see, let's see if he steps on his toe here. Now, this is what you call great analysis, you know? <laughs> <laughs> a toe foul. Rap just wanted to see if the footwork was right defensively. So, Lipsy will sit. But, you know, that's where a guy like Brown comes in, and he knew the scouting report. He knew he was going to go to that fadeaway shot, and he took it away and got a turnover. And Chris Christian, the brother, what it is that back cut they love to run. Look at his D. McCullough had it negated at the rim. Ward again, a factor. Great job being taller and upright. So it's Gilbert sharing the backcourt with Jones. Gilbert lets it fly. Buries it. He's a Wins game. three. He's a gamer. He is. He's had. He's coming off two big games. He was big time in the Kansas State game. Dickinson rimming no. Iowa State in front. They've been getting good looks though, Kansas. Dickinson is one of six. The place to pass. Gilbert blocked on the inside and a foul. Mike. King took it strong. That might be McCuller and or Brown on that play, but uh, what a high level game right now. Think he got something for free? Tell you, has got some wow, that was close. And when your leading scorer is going up to contest shots on the help and block like that, you're a great defensive team. I don't think Kansas gets the credit for how good they are defensively because Iowa State's so good. Kansas might not be on that level, but they're close. Kansas has missed its last seven shots. McCullough just picked up his first personal. That's team foul number six. And we're seeing some mixing and matching here. Kansas is not known for its bench. But right now, Bill Self is leaning on it a bit more with Timberlake checking back in. Brown takes a seat. And you mentioned the defense. I think their defense is excellent, but they're more free-flowing. Yeah. So they're back on defense maybe a little bit more. Yes. They'll take some quick shots on occasion. But even though, as Ian said, Kansas hasn't made a shot in a while, they have not turned the ball over. That's the key. This is what they got to run because they're playing drop defense. They're not trapping. Oh, I thought he was going to shoot that. Dickinson against Ward gives it up. Furphy takes it in, draws the foul, and they got a charge. Oh, one had it, a blocking foul, the other had a charge, and the charge is going to stick. And they didn't really look one another off either. And generally, nowadays, you plant that foot automatically. Boy, that's close to his heels being on the restricted. Yeah, very much so. Let's and it's up it's... in the air, too. I think he was there in time. I think the question is where his heels on the restricted are. Oh, they just have to be hovering over. Yeah, they could well. be in the air. Iowa State in front, 16-14, the third Kansas turnover of the first half. Gilbert will take it. Short. Knocked it. to the outside. That's a play. Great save. Jumper doesn't go for Jones. Watson with the save initially, and now Kansas controls it off the miss. And they are starting to attack that glass. Jayhawks are down to 29%. Timberlake, no. It's a good look. They're just dying for him. He's yeah. a shooter that can make shots. He just hasn't done it yet this year. Gilbert loses the ball. Furphy was there defensively. McCuller which secures it. They are all for their last eight. I like to see Dickinson on the block a little bit. Ooh, not a good pass here. Turnover. Jones accelerating. Jones puts it up. Wow. Gets the run. How confident is he? One on three. That's a tough shot. Woo. But Hassan Ward was right on the rim, ready to offensive rebound. They are relentless on the glass. Nine nothing run. Cyclones. Fast moving first half. Harris. Pretty. Brady puts it in with a teardrop. Wow. Great field. Understanding that kid. What a stop to the run. A 9-0 run, Raph. We talked about those kills, right? Yep. They lead the country in kills, which are 10-0 or more runs. Iowa State does that with their defense and their transition offense. Jones having a catch with Gilbert. We hit six and a half to play in this first half. Now, Roy's going to get to the box. Jones, too strong. Well, he had a mismatch there. You got to get right to the rim, number 24. Harris, number one in the Big 12 and assists just under seven per game. Great leader. 
Harris using the Dickinson screen. They're going under. Furphy can't hit the three. Rebound. Knocked over to McCullough, the loose change. Ooh, that could have been a foul, too. Yeah. They're very fortunate. McCullough makes things happen, man. He is a winner. He's absolutely. And a big jump that we've seen in his play. More responsibility. He's taken it on. Wanted to win the championship. That's why he came here. Back in. He can't get that move. They're right up and under his legs. Well scouted on Mancilovic. Well said. Swing it. Shot clock is winding down. Jones has to make it happen. Two to shoot. Jones off the heel. And Timberlake's got the board. What a great defensive possession for Kansas. Nice get back here. Look at the give to what a pass ridiculous it is. Field for the game. Point center mentality. And the head, Harris reads it and gets their rim. Pretty play. Not too bad, huh? You like this kid? This is this is high level right here. Look at McCullough, always staying in the scrap. Iron Eagle, Jay Wright, Bill Raftery, a lot of our closest friends. They've actually been <laughs> very cordial, very respectful here in Ames. Tremendous atmosphere. They recognize Jay. You know? They did. <laughs> it's not the main line, but <laughs> they know who he is. Four turnovers. They forced TCU into 23 turnovers. And, and Kansas only has four, and that's the difference because that's how Iowa State scores. When your center can handle it, others can chime in pretty good. Kansas leans on its starters. 88% of their scoring comes from the starters in conference play. Easily number one in the Big 12. Back in. Nice shot by Jackson defensively. Diagonal. King to Lipsy. Buries it. Well, he makes those. Goodness, we know he can get to the rim. Great find on that diagonal. Last year, he didn't shoot the three at all. They didn't respect him. Here's that 1-3-1 one, one defense that they'll go to to change it up. Iowa State and that's how you pay for it. top, it's Brown with the finish. They Beautiful see, delivery by McCuller. Or they see zone. They'll either back screen the middle guy or just dive to the rim on that diagonal pass. Always prepared. It's automatic. As soon as they see zone, they just say zone. They don't have to call the play, and they know what they're going to do. Ten field goals for Kansas. Nine of those have been in the paint. A mismatch at the rim if they want. And Jones, he's got to get to the rim if they shoot. Mamchilovic trying to get involved here offensively. They've locked him up. Jones, the push shot way at the rim. Hit. Hit. A shot clock violation. Their scouting report defense by Kansas is so impressive. To, as you said, I Mamchilovic can't get a shot off. Oh. They know he likes to go to that little step back or go to his left hand. TJ's giving him a blow right now and going with the three smaller guards. And I think he's doing this for offensive purposes with Trey King at the four spot. Uh, it's a learning process, too. Even though you're a talented freshman, he's going to have a great career here and in the future. Uh, but boy, you're going to tee it up against a team that is extraordinary taking out of your action. Versatility of McCuller, he's handling it. They're hounding him. Gets it back from Brown. Look at this trap. Love's going right. McCuller tried to feed it inside, and it's out of bounds. Furphy was the intended target. They get you out of sync, don't they? Spacing wasn't good. Iowa State and Kansas, 257th all-time meeting. You should be a voter. <laughs> really? You're not your best, not with volumes. Oh, Bill, I gotta hire you as my agent. I he, have a whole right. new career. He's right, I. And you come up with movies and, Thanks, and, and lines that we, both of us, are looking at each other like, who that guy play for? Yeah, you guys have have lives. <laughs> I barely do not. I watch everything. You watch nothing for 25 years. So what, what did you always say about me when a movie would come up? You would say the last movie that I saw was <laughs> Gone with the, the, the Graduate. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you the graduate. Anyway. Okay, <laughs> the graduate. You get Dustin Hoffman. That's a good one for him. 22-21, Kansas in front. Jayhawks are 16 and three. Cyclones are 15 and four. Lob it inside. Jones, easy one. And that's that automatic switching that will get you in trouble. Landed awkwardly, and Jones having a tough time making it down to the other end. The key is on that, when Harris gets caught on that mismatch, just don't foul. Give up the two, because Harris has got to be on the floor to control these turnovers. Iowa State up by one. Swing it. Harris not looking for a shot. Look at the weak side up coming ready to double Dickinson. I'd love Harris to take a shot, though. He may have to. Nope, going to give it up. Furphy missed it on a nice three. rebound weak side. It's McCuller. Swing it. Harris. Open look, Dickinson, bullseye. Uh, they Great are so good. good. The extra bit. Another guard would have shot that ball. Exactly right. Dickinson at the elbow. And he gets Dickinson the shot. 
That's he's so smart. Everybody says he should shoot the ball more. And I talked to Bill Self about him. Bill said, I've told him to shoot the ball more, but I finally said to him, you know what? Do what you think's yeah. right because you know how to win. You win every drill, you win every practice session. Do what you think's right. Off nice the penetration. Kick. Lipsy outside. Gilbert, no good from three-point territory. Lipsy in the right spot. Jones. That's his the shot. Glass. That's his shot to not the an easy point. angle for no. Jones. 25-24 Iowa State fans on their feet here at Hilton. McDowell getting a lot of minutes here because of foul problems. Harris gives it up. McDowell. Here comes a double. Dickinson, two bodies there. And Dickinson actually got away with a, a scoop there with that arm. Very lucky. And it will be a foul against the Cyclones. All right, he'll use that off arm too. Look how they come based on oh, the goodness. I mean, wow. I saw it from here, and I've got a few years on me. <laughs> he got away with one there. He knows it's coming, and he knows he's got to make a quick decision. He's the biggest guy on the floor, so it's hard for the biggest guy on the floor to make the quickest decisions, but he's doing a good job. Did you recruit him at the little bit first time around? We did. He was on the same high school team at the Math Academy, yep. Justin Moore. Second foul on Jones. He decided, team foul. He decided to go with a good coach. <laughs> <laughs> Worked out pretty well for him. And, and, and you too. McCuller <laughs> couldn't finish on the interior. Lipsy, no look. Mancilovic. Air ball. Out of bounds to Kansas. And you know what made that play? Gilbert sprinting gave him an open look. You're right. You're right, Raph. And Mancilovic has just sped up a little bit. Coming up, AT&T at the half. Adam, Clark, Seth. We'll break down our first half, bringing the highlights from around the country. Plenty of Big 12 action already underway. It's all coming up on AT&T at the half. I bet they're relieved to have you here. <laughs> I was going to say, Mr. <laughs> Jay. Everybody's happy in the studio. Jay's out on the road. Furphy floats it up. Contact. Foul called. And it was Gilbert underneath the last line of defense. And you know, it was interesting. That one I thought was a charge. <laughs> Let's see the other one. Let's see if he's out of the arc. Both feet out of the arc. Oh my goodness. Got the no, early. Yeah, I'm not usually one to disagree with the officials, but I got to on that one. Would you say Furphy's long? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't say that, but you might. Be. You usually save those for late. Oh, later. <laughs> Second free throw here for 6-9-2-0-2 freshman. Johnny Furphy. I think he's terrific mechanics. I think he's taller, Bird, believe it or not. You think so? Yeah. We stood next to him. What Kansas is doing a great job of is they're kind of attacking the bully. I always think it's physical and they get into you. If you don't take the ball at him and force the refs to make those kind of calls, they're gonna they're gonna punk you out, out of the game. As mentioned, Jamari McDowell extended action here for Kansas. Trying to drop step, turnover King. And the big fella gave a little body chuck to loosen it up. A lot of things he does you overlook during the course of a game. Watch this big body. One little bump here. Come on. There you go. And it causes a little chaos. That is eight Iowa State turnovers. A minute 25 to play in this first half. Harris gives up his dribble. And they got what they want in the box area for a ball reversal. Nice pop. Timberlake rimming out. And the rebound, a strong one by Trey King, the second. And a great look, too. Lipsy shifting gears. Here's your guy. King over and back into play for Kansas. Loves that right drive. Look at this hand. Stripped to the ball. Gilbert gets to it. And now the Cyclones are running. Gilbert looking for an opening. Taken away and a whistle. Timberlake was there defensively for Kansas. Boy, the hands are incredible. I thought that was a pretty good snatch. I do too. And to your point, they know he's going right. And they know he's going to keep going strong. Watch him get to his right hand. Keyshawn Gilbert. And then Keyshawn Gilbert gave him a little taste of his own medicine at the other end. Took it right up his chest like McCullough does. Right. A little attack mode. I think that's something Kansas does better than anybody in the country. In the open floor, when they drive the ball, they drive it at the defender, not just at the rim. They, they go right up your chest and they force a foul. El Marco Jackson in there for Kansas, and now Momchilovic heads to the bench. He has two field goal attempts yet to score in 15 minutes of action. Keyshawn Gilbert, 72% shooter. 
at the line. Brown checks back in for Kansas. Quality minutes so far for Parker Brown. Sixth year of college basketball. Now Bill's really done a nice job with his substituting. A one and one, Gilbert missed on the front end, doesn't get the second. We're gonna get two for one here. Harris is the guy that can do it. Quick Harris, screen, Dickinson loses the ball. Nobody back, get it ahead. Lipsy, does he have the angle? Oh, he got fouled right at the end by Brown. A nice give though, Brown, good aggressive play, nothing illegal or flagrant. He got him in the head, so the reaction from Lipsy and from the crowd and just a great hustle play. Here the strip, bears the backcourt, and just a little swipe. Oh, they're gonna look, but you know what? You know what, this is interesting, Ooh. Raph, because contact above the shoulders could be, an F, could be a flagrant one. We had this a couple of weeks ago. You were in the studio, we had yeah. one of those deals. It's what, what would you say as a coach, though, if he, this was against you? <laughs> Let's not even go there, but if it's a basketball play, the basketball play has to be starting your dribble, going into your shot, or moving the ball over your head. But defensively, this, this is a basketball play, right? But they don't give them, they don't, this, I think this is gonna be a flagrant one. Wow. Because they don't give them the leeway to make the call on a basketball play defensively. I, I think you're right, but I'd give them a couple of aspirins and a glass of water. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're gonna, given the rule, I think they're gonna have to call this. Flagrant one is the avoidable, unnecessary contact, hooking, pushing, holding a player to, to prevent the score. All right, upon video review, yeah, that we're gonna upgrade that from, bird, from yeah. a common foul to a uh, flagrant one foul. I'm not saying I like it, but the referees are put in a position where they have to. The, when we use that term basketball play, it, there's only three areas they can make that. Starting your dribble, going into your shot, or moving the ball over your head to avoid the defense. They don't give the defense any and, opportunity and, yeah, for yeah. basketball And plays. his intent was to go for the ball, but the head gets in the way. Exactly. And they, they say that the defense... Uh-oh. Bill might have just got teed. Bill Self was screaming, and a technical has been called. All righty then. Interesting change. A turnover when you're going to get two for one. You get zero. They come down, get two. The technical. And they're going to get the ball. On the ball. Yes. Right. So this is a fast break opportunity that Lipsy had the step. And Brown at the last moment tries to knock the ball away. Gets the top of Lipsy's head. And now it's unspiraled here for Kansas a bit. And e even the term intent is not applicable here. They, there, there is no judgment of intent. It's contact above the shoulders. When have, you, when have you changed this attitude? No, I, I finally learned the rule. I would be doing what Bill was doing. <laughs> I would be crazy because my player was just trying to make a play. He really was. That, there was no way that was malicious. There's no way. 68% free throw shooter. Lipsy not nails two. Iowa State is three out of six. Lipsy gets another one. So the damage was not as bad as it could have been right. for Kansas, but Iowa State they got the takes the lead, 27-26, and, and with I, I guarantee you, Ray Matilli did not want to have to make that flagrant one call. I can't. Well, but it, they, it, once they go to the monitor, they have to. As you noted, it is the rule. One thing about Bill Self is he can get a tee like this and within 30 seconds be totally under control and have his team... Right, you can see him now talking to him. Well, the first 20, the assistants had a hold of him. Yes, yes. <laughs> We're down to 32 seconds left in this first half. Highly competitive Iowa State, Kansas, one point game. Spread the floor. Ward goes to the corner. Lipsy just using clock. They're going to lift Mom Silovic, right here. They're going to lift him up on the perimeter. Here he comes. Eight Slip second difference. Gilbert, swing, open look, pick and pop. Mom Raf, you love this guy. A uh, timeout taken on Chilovich. Finally on the board from distance. 
Iowa State up 30 to 26 with 10.2 on the clock. That went exactly the way that the Cyclones wanted it to, other than not making all the free throws. But retain possession, set up your freshman, give him a little confidence going into the break with a three ball. Good That's point. a great point, Ian. That shot was big, but Momchilovic being hot going into the second half is huge for them. Yeah. And now the full court pressure, make them use some clock. Iowa State came in very hot. They've won 10 of their last 12, four of their last five. That would let Harris get the ball. Uh -oh. He's going to go make a play for somebody. Yeah, Harris. And a foul. Well, he fouled yeah. on the outside. Smart. So DeWan Harris Jr. on the rush up the floor. Smart play. That is the third, Smart. though, on Jones. So. A minute. That's that is not, the one issue. That's not smart. Not smart. <laughs> <laughs> giving up the foul and shortening the clock was smart. Not Jones doing Somebody else should have given it. Yes. I don't think he had a choice, though. Yep. You know, he would have been had into the floater, I think. I, I'd give it up rather than get my third. Yeah. Down to five. Three seconds. McCuller off the rim. Tiffin doesn't go for Timberlake. And that's how the half ends. Iowa State in front, 30 to 26 at the break. How about his thoughts right play. now? And what a great play there and, to get that shot. And no question, and Bill, Bill will side eyeballs with the referees. <laughs> yeah, I know lead he's for the Cyclones. We'll send you to Adam Zucker and company in our studio. AT&T at the half is coming up right after these messages. We are back on AT&T at the half. Iowa State rocking home court. Kansas hanging with the most of the way, though, guys. They are. They need to knock down some of the good shots they've gotten, and this will be a tight one in the second 20 minutes. Hilton Magic, big-time welcome for Jay. Jay, we miss you in the studio. Yes, we yeah. do. We yes, we do. I don't care what Raph says. We miss you. Right. Yeah, we're laughing along with you guys, and it's uh, been a great game so far. Yeah. One player in double figures for either team right now. Trey King, how about that? Knocking down a couple of threes. He's not a guy noted for his three-point shooting, but played with real good efficiency in that first half. Active hands by the Cyclones. That's what they do. And that's Keyshawn Gilbert laying it up. But there's Trey King following the miss. Never give up, even if it looks like it's a sure layup. And then this is what surprised the Jayhawks. King open behind that three-point line. And flashed a couple of them really intense game there in Ames um, both teams getting after it 10 lead changes yeah that was not in the scouting report defending uh Trey King <laughs> <behind> <laughs> the three point line look at Kevin McCullough's numbers though three for 13 from the floor 0 for 4 from three point range you mentioned Kansas one for nine from three they only have seven turnovers right Iowa State's not a really disruptive defensive team but they want you to be just a little bit uncomfortable they want you to shoot it just a little bit more quickly than you want to good news for Kansas by the way is that Hunter Dickinson has not committed Committed a foul because mm -hmm. Kansas, if this game comes down to the bench, Kansas is in big time trouble. So limiting that foul trouble is key. I still think the Cyclones pull it out. Bill Raftery, what we expected, physical matchup in that first half. We're going to see a lot more of that in the second half. Let's start with the paint and what Kansas has been able to take advantage of in that first half. Kansas done a great job. Iowa State does not want people in the paint. I mean, you've got a point guard like DeWan Harris. He can get to the rim at any time and score in the paint. Now, another way they've done it is by using the zone to their disadvantage, McCullough lobbing to Brown for a dunk. They got it in the paint, scored. Now, you said Trey King shouldn't shoot a three. <laughs> <laughs> totally incorrect, I assure you. Toe of the line, knocking it down, and then he makes a great play. Great read, collapsed the defense a little bit, a nice ball. Passing, obviously, and movement of the offensive player. Let's see, able to convert. <laughs> Team of 34% threes. They're going to need some more this half. Kansas has possession to open up this second half. The number seven team in the country trailing 23rd ranked Iowa State 30 to 26. Look at the post it up McCuller. They got Kevin McCuller in the post. They'd love to post him up though, Jay. They go on a skip for Furphy. Adams is in there playing with a two fast. Dickinson tried to dump it down to him, could not. Harris feeds it. Dickinson, the catch. the catch on the inside, and the foul is called on the ground. I've heard Noah Adams for a long time, by the way. He's a key player, a catalyst on the offensive end, Jake. I agree, Raph, and, and Bill set up a play there where he was going to get that lob if it didn't get deflected. 
They went, then they went back to, to KJ, and KJ Adams then hit Hunter Dickinson. That's how we get the foul. So they're going to get Gilbert on the foul, not Jones. Jones thought it was on him. Oh, Jones goes Jay. to the bench with three, and Ward is back in. Kansas is going to trigger in with 19.37 to play in this second half. We're just underway. Jay, tough angle to get it in. Really. This is a, t this is a tough spot. Lanes here. Especially against, they're going to trap anything on the sideline or baseline here. They're going to trap. Swing it back outside. Adams hasn't really been a part of it because of the foul trouble. Yeah, seven minutes is all he had, Bird. Dickinson, off-balance delivery for the big man. And they went right under him, too. I can't blame him. Talk about a point forward. I thought Bill would start getting some calls this half after the team. That's me. Yeah. You, you, you've been around a long time, Rap. You've seen it. Quick jet. Momchilovich comes up short, and it's rebounded by Ooh, Adams. Harris saves it. One minute gone by in the second half. Two-point game. Feed it. Dickinson. Nice screen by McCullough. Adams strong. Banker no. Snatches on the inside. It's blocked. Another erase by Ward, but a foul. You know, I think Bill Self made the point at halftime. We're going to play through Hunter Dickinson and K.J. Adams. Everything they've run has been going to those two, and he wants to get K.J. Adams going. How quick was that second jump by Adams? Oh. I mean, his calves, the size of my body. Well, not his body, man. <laughs> oh, thanks. Watch you have to involve me. <laughs> Trey King, the second, picks up his first, and Adams at the free throw line where he shoots it at just 58%. CBS Premier Week begins immediately following Super Bowl 58 with the series premiere of Tracker and the return of your favorite CBS dramas and comedies all week. Join us right here on CBS. And Barry, the coach is wearing shoes uh, in honor of cancer victims. Uh, a nice little tribute to people close to them. Yeah, including K.J. Adams' mom, Yvonne, who passed away in December. Very emotional for the Kansas team and the extended family. So our condolences. As you mentioned, this is around the country. You'll see coaches wearing blazers with sneakers. King, good luck. Brings out another one. This is a distance. King is not shy. Cha-ching on a triple. Thank God Jay had good assistance that could scout. Trey King is drilling it from three today. It's making a huge difference because Kansas got up to a great start of the second half. 14 points for Trey King. He comes in averaging nine per game. And this is a beautiful play they run. Dribble handoff for the bump. McCuller in and out. Nice rebound. Dickinson gets his hands on it and floats it up and in. Say, he's had some good looks, McCuller. They got that short roll. They're really playing through K.J. Adams. K.J. Adams made the pass for the three, but they had Iowa State rotating. That's how they got the offensive rebound. McCuller is now 3 of 14 from the field. Dickinson has 8 points, 9 rebounds. And a foul called out front. Turfy, I think, is third. Really uh, getting, uh, getting tracked a little bit. This is what happens when you're a coach. Trey King shooting 22% from three coming into the game, so you don't guard him from three, right? Well, you and were he never, throws three of them. You were never a numbers guy. <laughs> Once he hit a couple, you couldn't fool me after that. They got Adams on the foul, so that's number oh. three on K.J. Adams. Either one is damaging. Shot clock is winding down, and he just threw it to his head coach, who is not in the game. A Wisconsin <laughs> native. What a job he's done here. How about his background, Bird Bio? I mean, he's done a lot of different things. Head coach, UNLV, as we mentioned earlier, South Dakota State. He was an assistant at Iowa State, assistant at Washington, played at Wisconsin, Whitewater Division Three. His wife, Allison Lacey, played in the WNBA, so there's basketball yeah, yeah. the blood of that family. She's in the Iowa State Hall of Fame, one of the all-time greats. Well, it must be tough going home after a loss. <laughs> Off the Harris miss, Lipsy catches in with a three. We're kind of just a little late on the closeout. He makes that. What a dimension he adds. 36. Oh, two. Play. And a steal. Lipsy will take it in for the deuce. Timeout. Jayhawks. It is the largest lead of the day for the Cyclones. 38-32. Making it happen. Iowa State is cooking at home.
BMC inside March Madness, the tournament resume for both teams. Kansas comes in at 16 and three, a net ranking of 16. Iowa State 15 and four, identical conference record, higher net ranking, the strength of schedule though, not on the same level as Kansas, but they're taking care of business right now inside the conference. These teams are solid, obviously, NCAA tournament teams that both can make a deep run. What's really telling about a conference is when you can get a home win and it's a quad one win, mm -hmm. you're playing in a great conference. Damon Lipsy, 32nd straight game with a steal. He comes in averaging 3.2 steals per game. Off of turnovers, Iowa State has outscored Kansas 10 to 4. So that's a six point differential. We've got a six point differential in the overall score, score 38 32. A little full court pressure now. Simulate some action. Hunter with that turnover, that deep on the floor. Got to show the ball. Back into their little half court 1 3 1. Now they'll trap out of this sometimes, and sometimes they'll just match up man to man. They look for the lob right away on Adams. You might see some real the hand. Another deflection. That's what they do great. Was that Jones's hand? Lipsy. Nice pass. King works the rim. Woo. Going off a turnover. It's a 7 0 run for the Cyclones. Adams, a dump down. Dickinson was fouled. 12 points off turnovers, by the way, as you just alluded to, Jay. Unabashed on kids, comes back, composed, and this is just a great look at this, huh? King, for the moment, crowns it. Well, Trey King is everywhere today. He is having a hell of a game for the, the Iowa State Cyclones. We joke about it, but we watched him practice. He was ready. He, he was, was shooting him in practice. I wasn't really on board, but he was shooting him. Foul was called on Lipsy. Dickinson misses on the first. King now with 16 points on 6 of 11 from the field, 5 rebounds. Now, these are the kind of games somebody else generally does step up, though. That third guy, that fourth guy. And the reason is because the teams are scouted so well. Coming into this game, Kansas was playing off King a little bit, and he recognized it and, and took on the challenge. Iowa State comes in averaging 85.3 points per game at home, allowing 53.5. A tough matchup for Dickinson, too. Curtis Jones has that point, and, and I like this kid's game. A little pin down, King automatic switch. He's got to go to work. Lipsy now on the bench. King creating space. Nice, help. nice defense there by Furphy. And Harris, too, on the backside burn. Dickinson looked down low. Couldn't get the step on Ward. Well, they are hugging Furphy, too. This is, ooh, nice to Denial. King out of bounds. How about this kid? What a game he's having. Trey stepping it up. The transfer from Eastern Kentucky has played a big role in this seven-point Iowa State lead. And Brock Purdy fans, Iowa State product, with San Francisco taking on Detroit. So you got some connections here. There's a Niner fan. You're a busy man. Bird, you will be doing it. But everybody that talks to you, the driver picks up, he talks to you about Brock Purdy. They take great yeah. pride. Oh, they take time. great pride in them here. Big time. And, and rightfully so. Fantastic season. And there's just pride in this state. In general, you feel it. Here at Ames. A little trap out of the timeout, a little wrinkle you're not ready for. Oh, not a good step work. in. Another one by Ward. Colors made a couple of mistakes. Not typical of him either. Iowa State forces 18 and a half turnovers per game. That's second in the nation. Kansas has turned it over 10 times here this afternoon. And McCullough's got four of those, Bird. Pump fake. Momchilovich. A match not made for Dickinson. Oh. The first time he was able to get to that left, one left dribble, and they didn't take it away, and he drove it. He made him pay. But he had the right guy on him, too. Disadvantage. It's a 10-1 Cyclones run. That's Adams. not his game either. Comes up short. I always say can go on runs. This is what they call these kills. A 10-0 run is a kill. And they do it with the defense. Back in. Ward rims out. Rebounded by Dickinson. Ken's got to get a little easier on transition. Early nice run to the rim there, Adams, and a fine, Harris. K.J. Adams banks it in, and it's an eight-point game with 14.38 to go in the second half. Just love that point guard like Harris that recognizes that right away. Great feel. 
Well, you certainly had a few of them, right? Another one? Yes, sir! Trey King is not a human! I am a fan! A Trey King fan! You were killing him yesterday. Nice <laughs> entry here. Dickinson off the double. The lead is now 11 for Iowa State. Got to go strong with that left. Dickinson foul on the bump. Ward, I think. It's Ward. You take this. Well, how about party. my man? Feet set, as you would say, those puppies look good, and he is drilling it. Wow, he is having a ball. It's he interesting. Got to guard him now. But the start of the game, and I would have done the same thing. He came in shooting 22%. Kansas spaced off him and had his man sitting in help, and he made him pay, and now he's hot. He made three threes in the first 19 games. He's made four here this afternoon. Now he's on the bench. Well, he's been really physical with Dickinson. Adams, they give him that shot, and he missed it badly. Trucked down by Furphy. Shot clock is down to six. Someone's going to have to hoist it. They don't see it. Harris fires. It's good. Love that kid. A three. The most important thing he got available. <laughs> Little hand off the wrist. Simple. Knockdown. Need his offense, too. And just the second three of the day for Kansas. Now two of 11. Iowa State has gotten up to 47% from downtown. Nine of 19. They haven't missed from three in the second half. Four of four. This is where Kansas got to string some stops together. This is where he goes a little fadeaway. Not good defense again. Swing it. Jones drives. Banks it in. And one. That's your boy, Raph. Tell you what. You, you played against Kansas. This breakdown right here. I think they give it to McCullough or they could give it to Harris. It'll be McCullough. But Curtis Jones... The last couple games has been coming on strong. Big game. He, in their game against TCU, Gilbert and Jones combined for 37 points. Against Kansas State, their last win, Jones and Gilbert, 32 points. You got Momchilovich hitting shots. Yep. And now Taylor Lipsky playing Lipsky play the way he is. They have a lot of confidence. Ten-point lead. Adams coast to coast on oh, 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 the wreck attack. Is that a message, maybe? <laughs> Spur his team on a little bit. Boy, nobody stopped. Transition D, almost like BYU. Remember their game? They struggled getting back, Iowa State. Seven minutes gone by in this second half. Jones to Jones. Still this time is to a, work with. This is a big part of Oh, here he goes. Deep one. They are smoking hot from downtown. It's Curtis Jones. Any one of those guards can get it going. Jones, Lipsy, Montilovich. Five of five. Nice downtown in the second half, and Dickinson with the lay-in. That's that ISO. He he puts his hand. Bill puts a whisper thing. They empty that backside. Nice find to the big guy. Chilovich feed it. Lipsy back on the floor. Jones has got a mismatch. He's got Adams on him. Nice pass. Jones. He got bumped by Dickinson. Boy, they are dribble driving now. No wow. resistance. Kansas looks a little fatigued right now. I, I know Bill's waiting for the 12-minute timeout. I would do the same if I was Bill. But this, Iowa State has used their depth incredibly well. Jones off the bench. Robert Jones here on the foul line has been in foul trouble. Hasn't played a lot. He's coming in fresh. You were afraid of him during warm-ups. He's <laughs> <laughs> an impressive physique. Robert Jones, 52% shooter. One of the leaders of this team. Brings a lot of energy. Transferred from Denver. Played two years there. He's added 35 pounds over the course of his college career. So, you know he brings the muscle. They call him Big Rob Energy. And when you have the biggest guy on your team, the most energetic guy, that sets the tone for the team. That's powerful. Third year in the program. One out of two. Dickinson the board. It's a 10-point game. Kansas will keep their composure here. They'll keep running their stuff. We interested to see what Bill calls here. Double-double for Dickinson. 11 points, 12 rebounds. McCuller off the penetration. Nice give. Adams fills, hangs. Couldn't hit, but a foul. Nice arrangement, though. They had the box or the kickback. Oh, Adams at the rim. Two free throws coming up for K.J. Adams when we come back to eight. 
CBS Sports College Basketball coverage is sponsored by Jersey Mike Subs. Be a sub above. Progressive Insurance. Save when you bundle auto, home, or motorcycle insurance. And by Fresh Pet. It's not dog food. It's food food. Well, you come to Ames, got to get a clone cone unless you're <laughs> lactose intolerant, Bill. <laughs> No, no, not you. Not Very you. offended. Let's check out our AT&T fast analysis. How about the the quarterback? The quarterback from Ames High School, Tammy Lipsy. Offensive rebounds, feeding his teammates, drilling threes, and then always igniting the defense, getting out and finishing strong. And that was a little. Bad pass, obviously, but they were in the doldrums a little bit. Now, Adams has sort of stepped his game up. I like him going to the rim. Struggles from the free throw line at 57%. Maybe get their high-low goal a little bit. And they've had good looks, Jay, and have not made some. McCullough in particular. I, I agree. I, they, they, You made a good point. They substituted a lot in the first half. I thought Bill did a great job in the first half. In the second half, when it got tight here, they looked a little fatigued at the end of that at the end of that period to me. The 12 minute timeout was really welcomed. But KJ Adams sat most of the first half. He's got to be the one who plays big here in the second half. Adams, most improved player in the Big 12 last season. Numbers this year, 12 and a half points per game, five rebounds, just over a steal per game. He's just a great athlete. They tell me he was a great lacrosse player. Mm -hmm. Your alma mater was pretty good at that in the old days. The Cuse? Yeah. <laughs> the Harvard of Western New York. <laughs> Trying to get back there. Sean McDonough used to call. Thanks so much, Sean McDonough. 52-43, <laughs> Iowa State in front. Kansas won't panic here. They'll keep grinding, playing smart. They're, they're a smart team, well coached. They will hang in this and try to steal it in a yep. close one at the end. But Jones. Oh, they're not missing. Try to get up on the, that's the 11th out of 21. 50, over 50%. Got to take make him a driver. They are six of six from long range in the second half. Stepping in once again, it's Ward to create the turnover. What a denial and recovery. Another in and out, Lipsy. Jay, that was impressive by Ward. He showed on the ball screen, sprinted, and got that deflection. You're right. He was in the trap and got the steal. The answer from Furphy, and that's from down under. And it can open up other things now. Play a little four on four, get your inside game going. Furphy's been getting good looks. If he can start hitting them now, that can get Kansas right back in it. 55 46 Cyclones. And there's that switch. They got to get back and talk. Let's see. Inside King. He's our guy. Jones. Swing it, get it back. Jones. Got it. 13 threes from a team you generally wouldn't pick up as a three-point shooting team. No, because they usually beat you in transition. When they beat you in transition on turnovers, they're really tough. But when they're hitting threes like this, they're barely unbeatable. Curtis Jones has 13 points off the bench. Harris feeds it. Adams, tough layup in a crowd. And all because of Harris' penetration and feel. Patience. He's got nine points all in the second half. And it's back to a 10-point game. We're going to hit the 10-minute mark in regulation. Got to run them off the line the way they're shooting it. Lipsy, contact, stop and go. Lipsy turns the corner. Give it up. King, pull up. What else? Rimming out. But he made it. Nearly went down. Adams feeds for Furphy. Harris to Dickinson. His pass. Swatted the ball. Lipsy couldn't jar it loose. And Dickinson gets the bucket. How about the big guy running the floor, though? Hey, this is good in transition yeah, as anybody are. in the country, boy. That was great passing. Dickinson right to the front of the rim. Found him right away. Kansas is number one in the country in assists. Just under 21 per game. Jones feeds it. That's Hanker goes. Just a little late on that rotation. Well, because he's worried about Jones coming off that ball screen and shooting a three. Wow. McCuller. Dickinson. Nice pitch to heel. Furphy loses his balance because he was knocked down low on a foul. Yeah, Jones. And other guy trying to check him out. You mentioned the box out. They stick guys on box outs. We saw them. 
TJ Otterberger told us they work on box outs every day in June, July, September, all through the season. We saw them do it in practice. They lay the lumber. All the bigs leave it out there. That is 16 fouls now against Iowa State. When you're in Kansas position right now, you just have to endure this and stay connected and just steal it in the end. You're not, you only got to win it by one at the end when you're on the road. Endure this run. Watch the lob. Third foul on Keyshawn Gilbert changes here for Iowa State. Dickinson shot on the run for him. Missed it. He knew the angle to go get the rebound. Harris. Oh, that's he got there. caught underneath and threw it off the back of the backboard. Again, the body, they use the baseline as another man. It, usually, Furphy gets to the corner. But look, Furphy's up top, and Adams doesn't think that way to give him a pass in the corner. He didn't have a pass, and they count on that. Ten-point lead for Iowa State. We are under nine minutes to go. Kansas came in averaging 11.8 turnovers per game. They've got 12. A little flex bump. Ezrovich as his favorite. Air ball. Oh, Out of man. bounds. As you said, Raph, that's his shot. That was set up perfect for him. For people that haven't seen him, that might have looked a little funky, but we've seen him drill that shot and make that shot for game against Houston, right? And a winner. Going baseline on it. A little dirt move. Very dangerous in the mid-range game, and the abilities inside, outside for Milan Mancilovic from Pewaukee, Wisconsin. And they're going for the power inside. Adams had it blocked. And a foul called to Marion Watson will pick it up, the sophomore. Watson doesn't get that many minutes, but uh, they rotate their bigs. They got to play hard. Got Jones alongside of them. But Adams, just a tremendous physique in that low post, begging for that ball. That's what you talked about, Raph, that high low. They're, they're going to it now for Adams, right? And, and they're putting him down low and leaving Dickinson up top. That is 17 fouls. Tom Cruise stars in Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning. Don't miss the newest action-packed mission, now streaming on Paramount+. Plus. Second one here for K.J. Adams, Jr., the junior from Austin, Texas. Off the rim. Can't have those possessions where you're just going one for two at the line. They got to ring the bell. This is where you got to team up with your Kansas and get good looks if you're Iowa State. Lipsy, feed it for Watson. Oh, slid the feet, no call. They're moving Dickinson around, though. A little bit of a disadvantage for him. Trying to cover, show on ball screens. Jones, trying to him down. Jones steps through, missed it, trucks down the loose ball. Lipsy lines it up. Rims out. Rebound, Dickinson. Great the board. Dickinson. Here's Harris. Adams, the quick move. The body foul call. AJ's aggressive, isn't he? He is. This kid's a winner. You're so, about tickets and hustle. That is eight team fouls. So free throws coming up for KJ Adams Jr., the third on Watson. We have 7.38 to play in Ames, Iowa. Our game summary, Iowa State shooting 44%, but the hot shooting in the second half has been from three-point territory. While Kansas has controlled the paint, the Cyclones have controlled the perimeter. They really have. It, and it's really a kind of uncharacteristic for them to shoot this many threes. But when Trey King, your four-man's drilling them, you go with it. If you've got guys hot, you go with it. This is... This is Jones off a, a ball screen. He just come off a ball screen, not even thinking about getting in the lane. And they usually attack the rim, and he's shooting threes because they know they're hitting them. They're hot. Go with it. Now, you were very good at seeking matchups. Yeah. And they've got the matchup with Dickinson on that particular play. Exactly. They got him away from the rim. He's a little bit more uncomfortable. But what do you do when you get that matchup? That's what you need. Usually, they'll drive that. Way. Usually, these guys. But in this game, they're saying they're, they're hot. We're taking them. Yeah, well, they average 18 attempts per game. They've taken 24 here today. Already with 7.38 to go. And that's for, from a communications major. <laughs> <laughs> Not a math major. A minor did math. <laughs> Free throw goes for Adams. We'll get another here. 7.38 mark. Second half. 60 to 52. Cyclones. Adams has been so aggressive in the second half, but, but he's going to the foul and get one out of two, one out of two. That, that hurts. And right? trading threes for ones. There we go. Stops the trend. Watch out for Gilbert now, I think. He's been very quiet. 
The other part of the equation, we're talking about threes. Kansas attempts the fewest threes in the Big 12. Like that little flare. They ran that for Gilbert, right? That's a call. That was for Gilbert. I thought he should have stopped and come back. I agree. Gilbert, one on one with Adams out front, 10 to shoot. Jones, feed it down low for King. Use the power. King, for shot clock running. To, oh, that's a deep one. Jones can't get it. Mamchilovic, it's knocked up in the air, out of bounds. Last touch, Harris. Smart play, too. Harris had that disadvantage, attacked that rim. Last game against Kansas State, Mamchilovic was their leading scorer. Today, he's not scoring a lot, but that offensive rebound to save them possession. Here's your guy. King rims out. Long rebound to Harris. They're on the move. Nice give right away. McCuller, pretty good defense, I thought. He's going to get the foul. It will be Gilbert who chopped down on Kevin McCuller Jr. Free throws here. That's the point, Ian. They, they go to your chest, and when they hit your chest, your arms automatically come down because you, you absorb the hit with your stomach, so you fold. Mm -hmm. And they do a great job of that. That's how he got to the foul line. So that's number three on Gilbert. McCuller has not shot it well today. Three of 14. He is now two of two of the free throw line. It all comes down to this. Stream tomorrow's AFC Championship game and Super Bowl 58 on February 11th, live on Paramount Plus. They, they could get it right here. Mm -hmm. Again, the one for two, as you mentioned. Yeah. It's hurting them. They're now 11 of 15 of the free throw line. This is a six point game, under seven minutes to go. I'm with you, Raph. I'd like to see Gilbert get a little something going right here because Chilich is on the floor. He can take Murphy, too, I think. Yeah, this is one is good. Oh, he didn't even look. Gilbert, a bounce for King. And this is, again, the advantage offense. Back in. King got him. Well, not much more Dickinson could have done either. That was great defense. Yeah. 21 for Trey King, the second native of Lexington, oh. Kentucky. Foul called. McCuller got hacked. That's almost like a pro attitude on that drive. Get some contact, and right here, a little bit of a fadeaway. Dickinson right there and challenge. Whew. What a game he's having. <laughs> he, is, he has been incredible. Second on King. Tenth team foul, so McCuller will shoot two. Raph, you know what they say about two things that never come back. But dogs that chase cars and teams that don't make free throws. Oh. So they gotta make they gotta make free throws right here. Because they're doing a good job. They know they're in the bonus and they're driving it and getting to the line. This is their way to do it. They gotta make their free throws. They're stopping the clock, it gives them a lot of time to come back. They've got the right strategy, they've got to make fouls. <laughs> And Trey King at the other end just been magnificent. I know he wasn't at our pregame meal. I mean, <laughs> the way he's playing. Second one here from McCuller, who shoots it at 83%. And Iowa State has not made its free throws consistently. Four of ten at the line. And now changes here for Bill Self as the combination of Jackson and Harris will check in. And I think to Jay's point before, I think he's trying to get some minutes. Give a little breather to the mainstays. 62-56. Iowa State in front. Gilbert doesn't look as aggressive. We're trying to get him. Back door, Gilbert. The layup is good. And the foul. Step and go. Boy, did they set that up beautiful. Down and through to the wing in front of the bench. Think you're gonna get a dribble handoff? And look at this, the ability right to their 10. Big time. Everybody lift it. Big finish. Uh, Gibson ends up in the stands at the end of this play. With some fans showing their support as he will go to the free throw line. Well executed by Hassan Ward. Be to Marion Watson in Trey King will get a hand from this crowd as he sits at the 601 mark. Great call, though, Raph. Gil Gilbert is a big-time scorer yep. and really has been quiet today. Missed it. That continues to be an issue for Iowa State. It's good to go. Ward with that pass does a lot of things for this Iowa State team, too. Guarding Dickinson here. 
Hand it. First fee. Got a three. Oh, 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 oh. And then, again, the ability to sprint and get in position to knock it down. 13 for Johnny Furphy. Shoot him up, sleep in the streets. Early in the game, he had the looks and he wasn't making, but they were good looks. They were. And now he's now he's sticking them. Don't let a shooter like that get hot. Akilovich, go in. Bottoms, and Furphy late on the tag. Not much of a bump on him either. We got freshman to freshman hitting threes on both ends. This is high level, guys. Freshman hitting big time shots. Dickinson turns and scores. That's vintage Kansas right there. Elbow entry, duck in, big finish. 15 for Hunter Dickinson. Back to a six point game. Under five minutes to go. There's that floppy look. They moved it up the lane a little. Nice hands. It's Harris. Look at this look. Ahead for Furphy. Throws it down. He gets his hands on more balls. Aaron tosses and then makes great decisions. As soon as he came up with his head was up the floor and he found Furphy immediately. How good was that? It's a four-point game with 4.39 left in regulation. Kansas making a run against Iowa State. We're back in a moment. And Jay, you were all about hands, deflection, being in the right spot. This kid, just magnificent. Point, leader, look at the hands, the wingspan. And then as soon as he comes up with it, he turns into a point guard. Up the floor immediately. And you know what Furphy has added for them, guys? Another player like McCuller in transition that's dynamic, that can get to the rim and dunk it, and get himself to the foul, and that's a great finish. Looking at him, I'll give you a name. Somebody gave it to me, obviously. Mike Dunleavy, who oh. reminds me of. That like tall that. and talented. Yes. That's a good call. Junior. Junior. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Father was just, just confirmed. Father was very good as well. 67-63. Iowa State leads it, but the lead has shrunk. Gilbert, the dribble drive. There you go. Got his man in the air and draws the foul on McCullough. Where, where's that been? Well, sometimes when you play with another teammate like Jones, it's hot. You, you defer a little bit, which is okay. Mm -hmm. And now, Raph, this is what you like that he does. Yeah, he just gets in that lane. Nice little pump. They bite. Little finish makes it a chance for two. And that's the fourth on McCullough, the fifth team foul against Kansas. Gilbert shoots it at 72%, native of St. Louis, Missouri. That was a big play. That was an answer to Furphy's dunk, mm -hmm. and it was a fourth foul on McCullough. Two out of two, Keyshawn Gilbert. The lead is six. Big time conference battle. This is a big time game. There's that little three-quarter court trap. Cutter and McCullough. How did that happen? Ping pong. Inside for Dickinson. Bumper pull. How about the passing of this Kansas mm. team? That's why they they lead they lead the Big 12 in assists and offensive efficiency. 17 is a healthy number, and they're now leading the country in assists as well. A 20 for them, excuse me, 17 for Iowa State. Iowa State. And they got the mismatch. Great pass. Feed it. Lipsy nine to shoot. Step back jumper. Short. Lipsy is there. And they got a reload. Gilbert. I was thinking you didn't need it. Run the clock. Nice there. pass. Inside. What a reaction. I thought it was pretty clean. Maybe the body down low, but whew, we got some game going here. He's leading. He may be on the lead. <laughs> <laughs> really? I'm Is that improving oh, in I'm your trying life? Slightly. You're trying. Slightly. Slightly. I'm trying way harder than I'm seeing it. Yeah. Yeah. Bert, you mentioned the three attempts earlier. 29 they've had at this point. Wow. It's amazing, Iowa State. So, Iowa State goes to the free throw line. Foul trouble for Kansas. Four on Adams, four on McCullough. 13 threes made. Matches the most that they've made over the last three seasons. That's the kind of day they're having wow. from downtown. They have been outstanding in their half-court offense, and usually they score in transition off their turnovers. Free throws is going to be big. This game could come down to free throws, and, and maybe not in a positive way. Both teams are struggling. Furphy hands it for Harris. Harris takes it in. Floater doesn't go. Dickinson mistimed his jump. And Iowa State secures it with Gilbert. Great rebound. Uh, pretty good shot, too. 
I'm going to the horn set right here, which means they can get the two big guys up top at the elbows. A rush right now for the Cyclones. Get into it with Gilbert. This thing of though, he wants to go. Cross gets around for a layup. Gets in there. Very clever. That's his game, though. Set him up. Got that head and shoulder on the hip. How about this play? Ward, the Dude, silent warrior. Not go in there on Hassan Ward. Kansas retains it with Dickinson. We are under three minutes to go. Corner, McCuller, no. Rebounded by Lipsy. Numbers give it up. Gilbert oh. takes it himself for two. Coming back to Ames after this. Iowa State, four top ten wins at Hilton since the start of last season, January 2023, over number seven, Texas. Then again, a week later, over Kansas State, who was fifth in the country. They beat Kansas, as we mentioned, here last year. They were eighth in the country. And then the big one, number two, Houston, on January the 9th. Our game reset. 2.41 to play. The lead has been extended to nine. Long rebounds lead to open floor opportunities. They, they sure do. And a great rebounding team like Iowa State takes advantage of it. Three ball, Dickinson. Yes, sir! What a call and confidence. It's amazing. And it's like that. cool is that, that's exactly what they needed a three. They needed to get this into a two possession game and, and build one for the three immediately had the guts to do it with Dickinson. Quiet the crowd as well as Lipsy retains it. And as the coaches, the last thing you thought they would do out of a timeout. Splits defenders. Oh, he lost loses the ball. Gilbert, turnover. Great defensive stop. Sure was. Dickinson in the middle of it, too. Showing nice and big. And, and the color. A little tag to house saw. Crowd has been reignited. Now Dickinson's in the corner, which spreads the floor. Adams can go to work in the middle. It's McCuller. Pure. Oh -ho! And the big guy on your call set the bump. Dickinson. 74-71 Iowa State. Here come the Jayhawks. Talk about a ticker with this team, huh? Two scripted plays to go for threes. Down to a minute 35 left. Uh, you got a guy if you want. Harris with Jones. And Dickinson helping. Jones has got an offensive rebound this. Six to shoot. The switch back. Shot clock is down to three. Lipsy off balance. He missed it. And it's grabbed by Furphy in a three-point game. A minute 17 left to go. And look at this down the floor. They get a kick out to somebody. Double team on Dickinson. Not a open man. Adams. Foul called. King got in there. Harris with the look. But how about the dive to the front of the rim? King is limping at the end of the play. Free throws here for K.J. Adams Jr. And look at this run. And then all of a sudden, the trap, the read, the patience. Boy, the fade dribble, the kick, and Adams, big time cut. It is a foul on Curtis Jones. This is where free throw shooting is going to be key coming down the stretch. Adams is six out of eight. And you led the country, I think, at least two years. Oh, second. We were, always, we were always at the top, and we have led the country a couple times, but it's because of games like this, you realize over the years, the game, we've had two outstanding teams play great basketball, but it's going to come down to free throw shooting here down the stretch. Second one for Adams. Splits a pair. Two-point game. Especially, guys, when both of these teams drive the ball so hard, you're going to get to the foul line. Well, they're not ready they're for those pressure. Pass. Well, they go call a timeout because of that. You've got to be alert. And don't be in the midcourt area to help the guards. Games like this, mistakes, you pay for it. 
Game reset, Iowa State with possession. They also have the possession arrow. 1-10 to play here in the second half, and the Cyclones lead by two. Most home wins against ranked opponents. There's a reason why all of these teams are in the Big 12, because there are a lot of ranked teams <laughs> yeah. in the Big 12. Yeah. You get a lot of opportunities. And all these, all these wins are against each other. They're all against the other ones on the list. An interesting lineup right now, Iowa State. You've got three guards playing. We'll see what the matchups are like. And I think this is because of the pressure. Yeah, you could say four guards with Montilovic at the four spot. It's a 7-0 run for Kansas to cut it to two. Because we've got to be careful. Those nickel divers. They wanted to travel on Jones. Lipsy brings it across. One minute to play. On two minutes, it's going to come running out again for a slip screen. This is, they're going to set up the similar play they ran at the end of the half. It's going to give Lipsky a chance to drive it. I think you've got to get into your action, though. You're going to become stagnant. Gilbert's at five with nothing. Here he comes. Here he comes. Shot clock winding down. Gilbert fires. Connors! Oh, oh. On a three! Oh. Broken play. Early. Dagger. A big one from Keyshawn Gilbert. 77-72. Cyclones. Harris, the driving kick. Dickinson, no. Look at the check out by Joe. That's got a just foul. Got a foul. great coordination. We're down to 19 they seconds, and they give the foul. Dickinson on Curtis Jones. Listen to this place. What a place to play. We're both waiting for Gilbert. Yeah, but, Raph, I think this was the same play they wanted at the end of the half. Instead of throwing back to Momchilovic, Gilbert kept it. And as you said, he was quiet for a good portion of the game, but he's come on strong here, end of the second half. And really good move putting the smaller lineup out there. Look at him. He's loving it. He's he, a great kid, too. We met him at practice. Great kid. He willed it, and then he had yeah. the huge smile yes. as it hit nylon. Jones adds to the lead, 78-72, 19 seconds to play. You're right, Iron. End of the shot clock like that, when you make that shot, you will it, man. You've got, what do you got, right? <laughs> not quite a double order. No, not yet. Not, not yet. Not yet. 19 seconds left. Go to the rim as fast as you can. The lead is you seven, seven for right. Iowa State. A little discombobulated right here. It's a lot of time. Dickinson fires it up. Air ball. They had to do that. They had to yeah. shoot a three. It's the hardest thing to do is get a three when your opponent knows it. Well, a foul called with 5.7. The celebration starts here in Ames. These yeah. students deserve this, man. They've been here. We, how about we met the guy that after the he didn't come into the Kansas State game to be the first person in line Correct. so his friends could go to the game and they started lining up during the Kansas State game. That was Wednesday. This, game. this is Saturday. <laughs> well, some people sacrifice for others. <laughs> Fifth foul on Adams. That's it for him. King off the rim. Final seconds. McCullough at the horn. He hits it. Hilton Magic for the Cyclones. They knock off the Kansas Jayhawks. A fun one in the Big 12 here in Ames, Iowa. A harbinger of what to enjoy in March. I'm telling you, it is going to be so competitive from the get-go in the NCAA tournament. Both of these teams just show they can win anywhere and play against anybody. These are two big-time teams. Much respect for both. The students spill onto the court. <laughs> Iowa State gets the W. 79-75 to 75 over the seventh-ranked Jayhawks. So, with that win, Cyclones improved to 5-2. Kansas, 4-3. This matches... The worst seven-game start in Big 12 action under Bill Self. They were 4-3 and three in 2021 as well, but Kansas always shows up at the end. I want you to pick a winner. Who's going to win? Man. <laughs> Anybody's <laughs> guess. Incredible. It's the truth. In this conference, anybody can win it. For Bill Raftery, Jay Wright, our entire CBS crew, Ian Eagle saying so long from Ames. Coming up. It's coverage of the Farmers Insurance Open from Torrey Pines in San Diego. The first 
We'll send it to Adam Zucker and company in our studio inside College Basketball presented by Progressive Insurance. That's coming up right after these messages. A taste of the madness today in the Midwest. Conference play heating up from Houston to Provo and back. <laughs> Uh, as we watch the Cyclones stay undefeated at home as we welcome you to Inside College Basketball presented by Progressive Insurance, Adam Zucker along with Clark Kellogg and Seth Davis. Iowa State now 13-0 at home, winning by four, and the threes were raining today. Knocking them down. Made 14 of them, I think, in the ball game. The most they've made in three seasons, and they needed all of them in that second half especially. Here we take a look. He started the party, Trey King. Had 10 points in the first half, a couple of threes. Curtis Jones, who's been on a tear the last few ball games, and this guy was huge late. Keyshawn Gilbert. That was a big one as Kansas had come back from a double-digit deficit to get within a possession, and then he knocks down that three, and that was pretty much all she wrote. Well, that's a great equalizer of the three-point line. It's kind of like putting in golf, like when you play Clark in golf. He's just rolling in putts. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, away. Wish. But I, wish. I, I will say this, and Trey King makes four threes today. He made three all season coming in. You don't necessarily prepare for that in your scouting report, but this is not what I would call a great defensive team for Kansas. This is not a championship-level defensive team. They may become that. Now, I think part of that is because they don't really have a bench. Yeah. So Bill Self has had to really mix up his defenses. But when you look at that three-point package, Clark, a lot of those – Shots, they were kind of contested, but, yeah, but not, not really hotly contested. And I think call. As, 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 for, for the Jayhawks fans, look, the fact that they kept it this close, given how well Iowa State shot the ball. Of course, Iowa State was terrible from the foul line, 9 for 18. But moving forward, Kansas must be a better defensive team if it's going to be Final Four National Championship good. Well, luckily, they don't have to play true road games in the NCAA tournament because that was a true road game. And Iowa yeah. State, I mean, it was... It was loud in there. Great, great yeah. environment. Hilton Coliseum is one of the best environments in college basketball. Part of the reason, I mean, that's a good basketball team. They're better offensively than people think, and defensively they make you uncomfortable. But that environment, certainly part of why, why they're 13-0 and at home. Yeah, and they got louder and louder with all those threes. 9 of 15 from deep in the second half. And right now, Bill Raftery is speaking with uh, head coach T.J. Otzelberger. Let's take a listen. You got to feel awfully good. Your preparation, Jay and I were amazed uh, how you organized this team to go, but they followed through, didn't they? They did. A, a lot of credit to our guys, showed a lot of heart today. We know when you're playing a great program like Kansas with great coaches and great players that you've got to be at your best, and our guys came out and did that today. It's not a bad home court advantage, is it? No, we're so grateful to all these fans. Look at how awesome this is here today. Uh, just very humbling to have such a great fan base. How about some guys that stepped up for you? Amazing reaction by your players. Yeah, our guys really shot the ball well from the perimeter. I thought Trey King had a tremendous game for us, but across the board, we made big shots and big plays when we needed to, and that was a great team effort. Who's going to win the Big 12? You don't have to answer that. I think they know. <laughs> hey, it's a lot of pressure on you. Yeah. Every game is a challenge in this league. We have so much respect for everyone we play. We just got to keep working hard every day and see what happens. Thanks for the hospitality. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think they all want to take Raft out with them now. After the, uh, after they would have the a good time if they did so. <laughs> they were sure will. Uh, and Iowa State's now won five of the last six in Ames against a top ten ranked Kansas team. So a uh, big win again there for the Cyclones. Hey,